Hi everybody, welcome back to Irish World. So, I, I've started doing these vlogs because uh, you've probably seen a couple of changes with a lot of the videos that I've been making where I'm generally on my own. And now, obviously I did mention that I would try and explain why I was doing this. Well, a lot has happened in the last six to seven months, and this is also half of the reason why I'm not actually posting as regularly as we were before. Now, obviously, um, there was a couple of uh, personal stuff that happened on my side um, throughout half of last year, and that prevented me from doing additional videos going forward. And basically, Christmas was fairly tough for me. There was a lot, a lot lots of things that happened, and I just didn't have it in me to actually go out. Um, I found myself into uh, a bit of depression. Um, it became chronic and it was really hard for me to actually get myself out of that. So Rob has been really helpful throughout all of it and he's, he's tried to uh, uplift me and try and get me out and about again, which is great. And we've moved in into a new place. Again, with all of the stuff that was happening with me in the past, it basically meant I had to move out of home and basically now living on my own with Rob and, and his, uh, his missus. Yeah, so we're now living together, so you'll probably see quite a lot of the videos with myself and Rob. Um, there's a link down below and he's also one of our featured people on the, on the channel. In terms of Jared being on the videos, it was only quite recently that me and him had a falling out again. It's not a case that I didn't want him to be in the videos, it's a case that I still do want him in the videos. He feels that there was a lot of bad blood between me and him because of what happened um, during that time when I was depressed. And I assure you that I was being in any way, shape or form out of the ordinary being uh, a normal person that's in depression. Um, it's really hard to actually get out. I mean, even up till now, I'm still falling in and out of depression, but I'm, I am going into groups. I am seeing someone to actually go and tackle these issues that I have. But part of being an introvert the way that I am, even though it may appear that on the videos that I'm very outgoing and I laugh a lot, um, I, most of the time I do laugh and the reason why I laugh is because it makes me feel like I'm actually still part of where I am. And generally laughing will, uh, will allow me to become a much happier person. In terms of uh, what's happening between myself and Jared, um, it was very silly, I think it was very silly. Uh, we had a falling out, he had some varying political views and I just really, really wanted him to actually see a totally different side of that political view and it became very overgrown, he feels that I, I, I was intimidating him or uh, threatening him. At the end of the day it was in the context that he pulled out that I thought I was threatening him when I wasn't. I just I wanted him to see a much bigger view on things. So unfortunately, because of that uh, outburst on Facebook, myself and him, we drifted apart. He has blocked me from all social media and he feels that I drummed him out of the channel. Now, in terms of the actual channel, um, it's not a case that I, I did drum him out. It was a case that a lot of the stuff that was going on in the channel, whether it be um, us going out, um, me driving around, um, the editing side of things, uh, yeah, all of that was essentially done by me. Um, I've mentioned this a couple of times in varying videos where a lot of the me a lot of the, the editing was actually done by me. And it was a learning curve that I needed to, to, to learn in order to get the YouTube channel up and going. Uh, but sadly, uh, at the beginning, um, Jared was supposed to be making all the music for it, but obviously with his other projects that he had on the side and his other obligations that he had personally, I found, he found that it was very hard for him to actually uh, go into that commitment of actually doing the music for the channel. Obviously he has to write the music, um, he has to think up the music, and uh, there's a lot of creativity that goes in into actually creating a piece of work. And Jared is an amazing guitarist and he's a genius when it comes down to music. However, that was just taking too much on, uh, that was too much for him uh, at that moment in time. It was a case that he was falling into depression as well himself and he had some loads of personal issues as well on his back, uh, behind the scenes and every now and then I did try and lift them out of it and obviously that wasn't enough. 
And so I alleviated him of that responsibility of trying to make the music and try and actually just, you know, get him involved in actually going out. Whether it be, it was completely unplanned, but we had an idea to go out and do something. So we, we always had that notion that whenever we did go out, it was a case that we had to start, we had a definite middle and we had a definite end. Um, and that was the thesis of everything that we did. It was always on the cuff and it was always a start, a middle and an end. And we always had a destination that we wanted to go. Now, um, the idea of the channel was to simply uh, promote the idea of being outside and more specifically to do with fishing and bushcraft. Now, Jared also wanted to go a totally different avenue to, uh, to expand the channel, to go and do some paintballing and um, some uh, airsofting as well, which is great ideas, don't get me wrong. It wasn't a case that I was against it because you could probably see from the background there, I have an airsoft mask and I've got uh, a varying airsoft guns as well now myself. So I wasn't willing to do that with him. It was a case that in my current uh, situation at the time, I wasn't able to uh, fork out the money for additional things. So his direction of the channel was totally different from mine. It was still within the thesis of Irish Wilds where we would go out and do something. Uh, it was to promote being outside, promote healthy living, and to promote just to go out there, have the crack, have a laugh. But and sadly, that got lost along the way um, throughout towards the end of last year. And I know that he's probably, uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna be watching these videos or if he's gonna be tuning in at any point, but he, he asked me quite recently to um, remove him from the, remove him as admin on the Facebook page, which he created. So I'm now upholding that all on my own. Um, he, he, didn't want to add or put any photos up on Instagram despite me asking him to and I asked him a couple of times as well while I was away in Spain to try and do some videos um, just on his own as a solo project. I edited him um, a nice little intro and that never was used and he never utilized that, that time to actually go out. Now he may, he does have a few things that he has on the go all the time. Uh, he had a band that he had to always attend to. There was uh, music that he was always, uh, always planning to go and do. And he was always very musically orientated. So he had several bands on the way. He had another project with another friend of his that was behind the scenes and I promoted that on the Instagram page. Um, I'll put a link of that around here somewhere. And, but um, it was called Stink Tank and it's a great idea. It was a great concept. He done the vocals for it, he done the electrical work, uh, electrical guitar work for it, and he helped his friend master the, the whole entire piece. Um, amazing piece of uh, music. Uh, hilarious. He's again within the pieces of Irish Wilds. It was a case that we always made sure that we could laugh at ourselves inadvertently have you guys laugh with us which I thought that we were doing a really good job at um, so Irish Wilds has taken a little bit of a serious note and a more of a serious turn so quite a lot of the stuff that I'm, I've been putting up recently is actually now going to be a little bit more serious I'll try and throw in a few gags in there every now and then but I don't want them to be forced I want them to be coming in as natural as they were when I was with, uh, doing the videos with Jared but at the moment in my current state and in, in his current state as well it's going to be very hard to find that laughter again um, i hope that you guys do still stay with us and keep uh, continuing to watch us and i hope in future that jared does come back to the channel and hopefully when all of this quarantine lifts and this lockdown lifts out of the covid19 i hope everything um, manages to you know we'll be able to go out and travel again but at the moment it's you know, the lockdown has prevented us from traveling anywhere past five kilometers i am actually living out in cavern now so if, for those that don't know where cavern is to where we used to live know where jared is okay cavern is here dublin is down here our club is down here so to, to make things worse, he's outside of the 20 kilometer range, which will be uh, enabling me to travel around. And so from the 18th of May, 
the quarantine will lift to 20 kilometers so we can travel within 20 kilometers but that does that 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 enables me to not go too far um that i can go and see friends and people that um, that that i hold dear to me which live more or less towards dublin and there's a lot of friends that i want to go and see which are outside of that to uh, that 20 kilometers so i would like to actually go out and travel um but a mental state of mind at the moment is a little bit on the it's hard to it's hard to do to describe um but i'm i'm hoping that in the next in the next six months all of the quarantine will lift and we can go out and keep the social distancing and keep the and flatten the curve for COVID 19. but I still do want to go and see what's happening with Jared. I actually want to be able to sit down and talk to him, find out what's going on. And if, in fact, um, our friendship is actually dead, because that's uh, it's really sad for me to to come to that to that realization that he thinks that I'm a threat or I'm somebody that he doesn't want to be friends with. You know, um, I don't want to give you the the whole details of everything that's going on but I just want to make sure that everything um, going forward is a lot better. So anyway, um, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you haven't already. And at least that way you'll get to notify, if you'll get notified of any new videos I do, and also what else happens in the near future. So fingers crossed that Jab that Rob has come in into the into the video. Are you actually here in the video? <laughs> yes, yes I am. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't know you were recording. I did I thought you were on the phone, I didn't know you were recording sorry. <laughs> I came up to ask you something, that was why I came up. Alright, anyway, let's end of this uh, this one anyway, so subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>